Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. Bold and beautiful, we figured out who Sheila's sneaking off to meet. All products and services featured are independently chosen by editors. However, Soaps.com may receive a commission on orders placed through its retail links, and the retailer may receive certain auditable data for accounting purposes. Sometimes, a line of dialogue is just a line of dialogue. But when the words uttered cause your ears to perk up and your finger to hit the rewind button, wait, did they really just say that? It's worth paying attention. Especially when it's bold and beautiful Sheila who is doing the talking, and she's trying very, very hard to act as if nothing's going on. Trust us, something is definitely going on. The line in question was uttered by the scheme queen in response to Deacon asking where she'd run off to. I just needed to see someone, she responded, trying to sound casual but her voice indicating there was definitely more to the story. When Deacon asked who, she replied, just someone from my past, no one important, really. She might just as well have said, nothing to see here, keep moving. But that's not in our nature, so we began wondering exactly who she might have been referring to. And while there are several suspects, one name jumps almost immediately to the top of the list, Sheila's longtime partner in crime, usually literally, Mike Guthrie. Ken Haynes has played the part on and off since 1993, which means he's had the kind of sidekick run not seen since Robin started hanging out with Batman. Most recently, he helped get Sheila out of prison by insisting she hadn't escaped, he'd kidnapped her. Given that he's been kinda sorta besotted by the beguiling troublemaker for decades, it wasn't hard for people who didn't know better to believe. With the walls closing in on Sheila, she's likely to need an assist in spinning her next wicked web. Deacons putting their relationship on hold, hopes trash-talking her at every turn, and by week's end, Sheila will be having a literal physical altercation with daughter-in-law Steffi. What's a girl to do, if not turn to the one man who would do anything for her? Now, to be fair, Mike's not the only game in town, nor is he the only person she might have been sneaking off to visit. Although rarely mentioned, Sheila does have kids other than Finn out there. Several in fact. And those of us who tuck pieces of information away for future consideration will recall that at one point, Sheila told Deacon that she had a rich benefactor. We know she didn't mean Bill, because these conversations took place long before that infamous, life-changing night on which Bill and Sheila met on the beach and his plot to bring her down was formed. So to whom, exactly, might she have been referring? One rich guy who's been known to spend time with Sheila in the past is Eric. Although it's hard to imagine he would ever go back to that well of crazy, especially seeing as he just married Donna, there's a reason Stephanie always blasted him for being a horny old goat. Might he, on some level, feel sorry for Sheila, maybe even truly believe that she's changed? It wouldn't be the first time Eric cheated on one of his wives.